ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए स्मार्ट हीटिंग सिस्टम विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑर्डिनो यूनो द प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर यूजिंग इज द प्रोटिया सेट प्रोफेशनल द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज ऑर्डिनो यूनो एंड वी आर यूजिंग सम ऑफ द कस्टम बिल्ड कंपोनेंट्स इन साइड दिस प्रोजेक्ट some of the components like arduino uno and heater take they are not the integral part of the proteus so what you need to do is to download the same file whose link is given in the description or otherwise your project is not going to run properly you can also download the library of arduino uno from any other source all the arduino unos will work fine okay so let's get started first we will take our arduino uno now this is our arduino uno you can use any of other arduino you know like you can download the library from google and paste it inside the library folder of your proteus it's an easy process you can do it okay now this is our arduino uno now we need to take our temperature sensor so the temperature sensor is lm35 which is a linear temperature sensor so we need to connect it like that its v out pin that is the signal out pin must be connected to the a0 pin of the arduino its uh, pin number 3 needs to be connected with the ground pin of the Okay, with the ground pin, and its a first pin must be connected with the power, or we can give it like five volt. All will work fine. Okay, now our sensor is connected. Okay, now for serial values monitoring, ah, uh, we need we need our virtual terminal. This is our virtual terminal. so rxt must be connected with the txt of arduino actually this virtual terminal is the serial monitor you can observe all sort of data on the which is here on serial monitor so you can see it okay now we will go for our heater tag or heater element so this is our heater okay so heater on and this is heater so these both are tags or component of for heating okay so now you need to do one thing you need to connect first heater with the pin number 13 and second with the pin number 12 the other two pins of these heaters must be connected with each other and then combinedly they need to be connected with the ground okay wait or uh, need connections it's necessary because need connections will not make you puzzled okay so now both the heaters are connected with arduino you know or one more thing that uh, is uh, very good that you need to place a relay between arduino you know and heaters yeah uh, because yeah we yeah, are it's, it's good okay do not do not do like do not use heaters directly on arduino controller because in physical world you need some uh, driving thing okay yeah like uh, because there must be a driving thing in between heating elements and the arduino microcontroller okay so we will use two relays so we will go and we will take an emitted relay okay now first relay coil must be connected with pin number 12 and second must be connected with the pin number 13 okay also relays need to be of 5 volt because arduino cannot operate 12 volt relay in reality maybe it's not able to 
turn on directly but uh, here in simulation it's going to work so we will just use it other ends of the relays must be ground okay now uh, our heater positive side must be connected with the normally open pin and the second one is also like this now we need to take our 12 volt supply for heaters this is 12 volt supply okay we can connect them like that and that okay also these two elements that is okay wait these two uh, common pins must be joined together and then needed to be grounded okay like this okay so we okay now this is our circuit uh, we need to connect we need to give it 12 volts okay this is our circuit uh okay now okay it's 5 volt and it's okay now we can directly turn them on and off and all this okay now this is our sketch okay first you must need to write it at your own you also need to learn it a, learn it a bit although it's very easy uh, in the start there are some declarations of some variables like sec pen t underscore c t underscore f and v underscore t then wide setup will execute for just one time then there is wide loop in wide loop uh, we will just uh, sense the data on pin number a0 then we will just uh, put it in the formula okay and then we will get our temperatures then on the basis of that temperature we will uh, see that we can we can make some sort of like uh, decision making like if else like if our temperature is greater than or equal to 30 then both of our heaters will become off okay uh, like 12 13 low and 12 comma low and if it is and if it is less than or equal to 30 then they must be high okay okay just one high not the both just one high and if temperature is less than like 10 degree then both of them will become on or like zero okay okay we can okay okay wait uh, our temperature range must be like uh, on 20 okay 20 degrees and less than 20 degrees and less than zero yes on less than zero both of them will become high okay so T and T is less than or equal to zero. Yeah. Okay, now this is our piece of code which we have written. And here, if temperature is in between like a zero and 20, then one heater will become on. And when uh, it is less than like a zero degree Celsius, then both of the heaters will become on. Okay so okay now okay wait uh, it's a uh, okay and yeah and it's uh, now it's uh, working hopefully it will work fine like uh, if it is in between like uh, if it is greater than 0 or equal to 0 and less than 20 then it is okay yeah hopefully it will work fine okay now we will run it out now this piece of code okay now after now uh, you can see this hex link okay now we need to copy this hex link and we will paste it, it inside our inside our Arduino Uno. Okay, and one more thing that we need to forget is to 
declared pin number 12 as output. Okay, now we can see that our temperature is 27 degree centigrade. Okay, so both of the heaters are off. Okay, now we need to we need to decrease our temperature out. Now you can see on serial monitor that our temperature is decreasing. Now you can see that after uh, getting low uh, after 20 degrees Celsius, we are ha having heater number one on. Okay, now we will make some bit more low the temperature. Okay, now now it is minus one. Okay, when it is at zero degrees Celsius. Okay, wait till like. Uh, if it is like a 2 degrees Celsius, then 1 heater will become, yeah, on 0 and 1 degree Celsius, both the heaters will become on, and on 2 degrees Celsius, one heater is off. So hopefully you got this uh, simulation, how you can run it inside your softwares. So, thanks for visiting our channel, and please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel.